Hey guys, my name is Stefan. And I'm Amy. And we are the Cabin of Courage. We are at Falls and check it out. It's quite nice. It's like super smooth on one side. Look at this. It's like a tree's falling down or something. Oh my god, it's so squishy around here. So lush. I love the way it goes from the forest into the forest through those beautiful rocks. Yeah. Check out those mystical looking stairs up. It's like you can see this slippery shine on it. Yep. at Table Cape Lighthouse, well, walking through Table Cape Lighthouse. Yep, so uh, this place, it's, it's actually really nice and it looks like it has a lot of nice paths and such. It's almost like, don't feel insulted if you're over the age of 60, a retirement town. It's like retirement village but town-sized. Because like, how many people, apart from the school kids, have you seen that's yeah. under the age of 60? Yeah, I know. Practically nobody, but um, it's a coastal little town. Mm, it's a little coastal town. It's the first sun we've seen in a little while as well, which is quite nice. We tried to dry some of our stuff. There's one free campsite, and we went there. It's a showgrounds, tiny, tiny car park. I managed to squeeze the caravan in. It was tricky. And um, as soon as I park, old lady with a cup of tea comes up and goes, "You're not allowed to park here. There's no caravans allowed." I'm like, it literally says on Wiki Camps, this is the only campground. And she's like, "All the signs have been taken down. You're not allowed to camp here." Like on the way in. There's a sign that said something about caravans, like uh, you're allowed to have caravans. So I was like, oh yeah, look, there's a, there's a sign right there. So she's like, oh okay, what are you gonna do with all your grey water? Anyway, it was like a whole like, she was like, oh, such a headache. Look, lady, I just wanted to chill. So let me stay here for free. Anyway, so um, we parked up and um, got out, started hanging some clothes up because we just washed it all because we finally seen some sun. So we're like, all right, we're gonna gonna dry it whilst we can. And um, yeah, this guy in a car just like straight, like straight there gets there. He's like, you're not allowed to stay here. Like, oh god damn it! He's like, I'm the manager of this establishment place. Secretary. Secretary, that's the one. And um, yeah, we're like, oh man, what the hell? Like, it used to be a campsite, is it not? He's like, yeah, they took the signs down a week ago. So now, as of a week ago, you're not allowed to stay there. So there's no place in this place that you're allowed to stay. What's that view, by the way? Don't come to yeah, so maybe don't come here if you want a free camp. Yeah, he was a reasonably nice guy. When he came in, he came in hot though. He was like, you're not allowed to stay. Like, oh, god damn, calm down, buddy. Like, yeah. So um, that's what's been happening. Happening so far. And now we're doing this really nice coastal walk. And we're trying to cram everything we can into this one day. Because this, this town's pretty big. I mean, it's not huge. It's a, it's a medium-sized town. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's probably on the smaller side. But either way, we want to explore on the unicycle and scooter whilst we can. And uh, yeah, and then we're heading to where? Tomorrow. Both harbour, aren't we? We may as well free camp one night here because I feel like, I don't know, 
want to have a few drinks and unicycle and explore and you know you know how it is you know how you know how it is i know how it is but so we found this really nice track that we're riding along and i found this just hanging there and they went straight past didn't even notice check it out handlebars upside down tied to a rope tied to a tree branch i'm gonna use the insta to get it hopefully Good enough holding. Oh man, that's good. What if I can hold like this? Probably not. You can't come down here, can you? But it's cool. I don't know why I've never done this before. Handlebars work perfectly. Genius. So this is uh, Fossil Bluff Beach. It is very beautiful. And uh, as you can see, the water quality is so nice. Like, whoop. you can see the rocks just completely see through that water. Very blue. We we'll continue along, uh, just like exploring around what's what. And um, this is the English River. I think this is the English River Trail. Either way, it's like 7Ks or something. It's pretty decent. And it's uh, down one way of the river and then back on the other side. You can see the track on the other side. So far though, it has been very beautiful, as you can probably tell. But there has been a lot of stairs. I'm not like a lot, but like, Three lots of maybe seven stairs. It's not not great, nothing crazy, but um, it's well worth it. And there's some more. It's very up and down though, but it's been fine for the scooter so far. Check out this awesome view. Look at that yellow tree. Cool. This path's pretty good. So we found a pretty cool playground. Check it out. I don't know if it'll fit. And this is a slide. Go on there. <laughs> it is a really small slide. <laughs> oh my god! The last part was so fast. <laughs> oh man, that's so many tight turns. Whew. It's like a huge Macca's playground, don't you reckon? It looks like a Macca's playground. Yeah, it kind of is. It's like that kind of kind of material. Oh man, this one looks better. Oh. Can you follow me straight down there? I'll try and stop myself in the tunnel. In the tunnel? In the tunnel. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my god, this one's really fast. Push yourself off. Okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god, <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was good. Look at this thing. It's huge. I've got to figure out what Castle. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Check it out. Wet cave. Yes, I brought my unicycle. Oh, it's very wet. They did not lie. Let's flashlight that on. It's huge. Oh, that's all water. Damn, the flashlight sucks. You know what, I'm gonna, oh, that's bright. Maybe it doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna bring the unicycle down and the, the torch will be a lot better than this one. Come on, my little torch.
Oh, that's pretty cool. Definitely gets deep though, that's for sure. That's so much better than the phone torch. That's wet caves. I can see why they call it that. It's very wet here. How about this place? Don't know if the unicycle fits through that. I reckon I can. Looks like that is it. It's pretty cool. This is in the middle of nowhere. There's wet caves for you. Oh, it's so narrow. Look how narrow that is. What a good little torch. It's cool. I wish I could keep going up it. Don't know how much further it goes though. This place has a load of caves. Check this one out. It's very uh Huge rock formations. Not very deep though. I can't remember what this one's called. I will put it below. Huge though. Looks like it's been here for millions of years. Oh, they built that incredibly close. It's quite a nice view here as well. So rocky around here. Sorry for the wind, but check this place out. It's pretty cool. You got the cave. That's that one that was from before. Oh, look at this place. Awfully windy though. Hate to fall on that. It's so rocky. Check out that valley. Beautiful. This is heading to Adventure Bay. Hopefully it's as cool as appetite. Cool jump. Wow. That is very beautiful. I'm guessing it's that bay down there. The one right down there. It's nice sun sitting here because it's like only just started raining a little bit. And our clothes are out to dry. Damn this Tasmanian weather, always with the clothes. Success! This is the very, very top of Broad Hill Hill Track. And man, is it a good view from up here. It's a little island. Let's check out that island. It's pretty far away. It's uh, not the greatest view though because of all these trees. Whoop. So I've been unicycling as much as I could. There's so many roots and so chopped up ground. I'm trying to do my best to get to the waterfall before Ned gets back to the car. Try and get back to the car as well. Man, what is this? It's just trees covering the whole thing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so um, trying to go as quick as I can. Left the unicycle at the start of this hill track because, holy shit, I shouldn't have brought the jacket. I should have left it down with the unicycle. Oh, totally worth it. Look at that. Damn. Misty mountains and little islands. I think it was worth it. Worth it. Now I'm gonna go back down, get to the unicycle, and try to do the rest of the track to the waterfalls, which is so far away. <laughs> it's so like chopped up ground. I'll put a picture in here. This is the kind of track I've been dealing with. Oh man, so many bumps. Super steep. So uh, yeah, that's the kind of ground I'm dealing with. But uh, that's pretty sweet. That was probably worth it. I think it was.
I might actually have a protein bar here. Curves are brought too. Mm, got a lot of shiploads. Nice and cheap stuff. The track has opened up loads. Oh my god, finally. It was definitely challenging before, that's for sure. So this is the one that goes to Dooney Falls or something. It's apparently like 1.5 k's or something, which is going to be pretty easy at you know, this kind of track. This sort of stuff I can go pretty quick on. It was, uh, yeah, I, it's just so hard to balance when you don't have your hands if it's like dodgy sort of ground, if you know what I mean? Especially when there's like, like, um, oh, how can I explain it? Like trenches. If there's like a trench on both sides, kind of like, uh, kind of like this up there, actually, I'll show you. See how like the grass is like a little bit cut out there? And like, not really cut out there, but if it's like cut out there and cut out on the other side, and then it's the deepness of the pedals, it's like a really fine line because you have to like go in between the pedals, between the, the cutout, pretty much. So like, as soon as you hit the side of the cutout, it just like pulls the unicycle and you have to grab it or something. So you need your arms for like that really fine balance. Oh, got there in no time. Mustn't be very far now. Look at this, they were like planning on like, Redoing a bunch of these tracks and just chose not to. God damn it! <laughs> oh, well, I'll show you the, the um the waterfall. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. So I just came down uh, this monstrosity, and I'll slide in a lot of it because it's pretty. As you can tell, that's pretty ridiculously steep. So um, yeah, I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be an absolute pain to get back up that with the unicycle. Cause you can jump, you can jump pretty well, like come along and then jumping up stuff. But as soon as there's like a jump and then jump and then jump, you nah, you lose all your momentum. So I think I'm gonna, just to illustrate how steep this is, if you can't, kind of illustrates it a little bit. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna walk the rest of the way and you leave my unicycle there cause it's gonna be too hard to get it back up this stuff. Cause it's so damn steep. But it's fun jumping down all these little bits and, oh yeah, this is what I was talking about before by the way. So often there's like a trench, kind of this, like this. And if you're in here with the unicycle, you probably sit like that with your feet. So this, I'd try and go down and when I land, the, the peg would hit that and I'll like twist and you know, the, I'd have to step off it. Yeah, it's never, it's never really too bad with the unicycle, like stacking slow speed anyway, you can always just step off it like a skateboard. With a bike though, you know, obviously you get the, get the handlebars to the crutch or over the handlebars. I'm very glad I went with the decision to leave the unicycle. Like, you can see this is probably belly button height. And it's just uh, straight down, then down, and then down, and then down. It's just winding the whole way down. It's so goddamn steep. Look at that. Ridiculous. So steep. This would have been very painful to unicycle try and get up. Especially stuff like that. Ooh. Looks like I'm only two minutes away though. I don't want to lie to you, it's a little anticlimactic. <laughs> not too bad of a waterfall. Definitely not in the top 10. Probably not even in the top three. Worst. Ooh, look at that slipper. All right, it's a very lush area though. I'll give it that. Certainly not the lushest though. Definitely not in the top 10. <laughs> that is so slippery, oh my God. Oh, there's a little catch. It's actually kind of nicer down the um, arse end of the waterfall. Look at that little trickle. Beautiful. It's all golden beer looking. Beer with its suds. That charging path. Just got that much more challenging. Totally just slid out. <laughs> I made it, I made it, I made it. And then I almost made it. And then I hit that little bump and had to step off. And apparently Nay is at my car. She's only got 6% of her battery. And for some reason my car's not on opening. She's got a little key thing instead of the beep beep. It was like the plastic key you could just turn and unlock it, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so we'll, uh, See how that goes. The good old stair challenge. Oh, my legs are too sore for this. All right. Woo! 
Oh my God. So many stairs. See, stairs are a lot easier if you can go fast down them, but like, there's no straight path. It's kind of, it's a lot easier without holding a phone as well. No dogs or cats. Apparently they have motorbikes here. Hey guys, hope you love the video. This, uh, this drone footage right now is of Edgecombe Beach. It is truly beautiful. Bit of a diamond in the rough. Didn't expect to find this here, especially on the Northwest coast. But just look at it, stunning. Anyway, uh, the next video will be of Tarquin Drive. It's a pretty famous drive and there's a lot to see. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.